Okay, so we're going to demonstrate today how to install an SCX soil moisture sensor system. Um, the first thing is we've located a spot to bury the sensor. Um, this is the only grassy area in the, um, in the landscape and we've got some sun. Um, so this should be the driest area on where the sensor should go. Luckily this ground was just um, sodded, so all I have to do is pull back a piece of the sod not established yet, so I can bury the sensor right in here. So before I pull the grass over, I want to pack some of the dirt around the sensor, um, avoiding rocks, just dirt, hopefully. I don't want to pack too hard, but just hard enough to get good contact between the soil and the sensor. pull the grass back over that. The next portion is going to be connecting the wire from the sensor to the wire that goes to the valve. Because the sensor only comes with about two to three feet of wire, um, you want to purchase wire that basically looks like the sensor wire itself. should be direct burial so it's covered and um, many of the irrigation wires you can get at your local uh, hardware store. Comes with lots of wires, you really just need three. Um, red, white, and black. These wires don't come with black so I'm using blue, but you're just matching red to red, white to white, and normally black to black. Once I have a wire connected, I'm gonna put a wire nut to cover that connection. Now that we have the wires connected, we're going to create a trench to bury the wire, but we're going to leave this section exposed because after we've ensured that the sensor and the timer and the controller are all working together, we're going to put a grease cap to ensure that no water gets into these connections. So that'll be the last thing we bury, but first we will bury the rest of the wire. Okay, so we're at our valve box, and in order to get the wire coming from the sensor into here, we need to dig um, at least one side of the valve box. We want to find the area, if you can see in here, there's a hole on the side of the valve box. So if I dig down, I can get to that hole and then bury the wire right into there and bring it in, and then I'm going to wire the valve to the sensor. Okay, so we're ready to wire our sensor to our electric valve. If you look down in here, we have two wires on the solenoid itself. One is the hot and one is the common. We also in here have a red wire. This is the hot wire running from the timer. And then we have this group of common wires that all run back to the timer as well. So what we're gonna do is take the blue wire, which is actually the black wire from the sensor, and we're gonna wire that to one of the valve wires. And then we're going to take the red wire and join that with the red wire of the that runs back to the timer, the hot wire. And then the white wire and the valve common wire are going to join this bundle of common wires that go back to the timer. We're going to make, connect all of those with some wire nuts and then we'll put another grease cap in here to connect, uh, protect these connections. But again, we're going to do that after we've ensured that everything's working correctly and communicating correctly. 